face like just yet and you're sold out by an Odin. Oh. Double Sentinel is so chameleonic. I can swap on a dime. You have to get in and you have to do it fast. Go. Zeldris will be the... So it's on site here for core, but once again, Zeldris. Eighty is just able to launch everything, but the kitchen sink at the wall. So T-Dog taking the front seat. Good damage done. No way, Zeldris. Nicely done. That the was so way. gorgeous. Oh my god. Eighty is now shut down. At least for this round. Great. Exactly what core is about. Exactly. Hey, you don't want to stack everyone up there. Yeah. You're sardines in a can at that point. Yeah. Oh, but look at this though. This mode might be setting up for annihilation if it's a B main call. He's gonna sneak through a market, understanding already the lack of speed that's coming from main. That means there's gonna be a higher presence through mid. There's the flash, there's the trip, there's net finally making himself very much known. Nismo the second sentinel for two as well. And the mid push is shut down yet again. But there's a straggler. Where could he be? Well, well, there's already a lot of space kind of scoped out here. It's pretty certain where Ziff is at. And with just a sheriff, tough to confirm any sort of kill. Koala Noob the miss. Koala Noob the escape. Xander the fade away. And M80 no. is The owl drone gave away so much. No command immediately popped so early. Not enough distance to cover A site just yet. And you're stalled out by an Odin. Oh, okay. The spray through to counteract. Good crowding by Core to avoid that early punishment, but so much is keyed up on A site. In fact, B site is completely vacated. M80 made the switch perfectly, and Nismo! Hell just looking, especially when M80's defense, Double Sentinel, is so chameleonic and can swap on a dime. You have to get in and you have to do it fast. Zeldris will be that linchpin this time around with the Blade Storm. Looking for a third spot's Koala Noob, but he somehow backs out before getting found out and can snipe through the smoke to stop T-Dog from approaching. Core just have to bite the bullet, make this work, and they will with the help of the Fragment. They'll get onto site, make this a 3v4, and actually have a pretty long standing on site with the help of the Lockdown. Good for committing the Lockdown here. Net again, great defensive reads back over. On his old team, can he do it again? Waiting for his team to come up at over. No neural theft available. Have to wait out the lockdown though. A lot of space could be gathered by core here, but they're playing for safety down in the pit. Looks pretty set in stone here. Zell just ready to rotate for that second angle. Ziff waiting in the wings, gets found out. Snarly and Nerve getting theirs though means that Ned is alone. And that might be the cutoff point. Just as Core starts to escape, Net will try to shut them down. Can't even do that. Core, very strong showing for this Thrifty and finally break the streak. I do like the safety that Core is playing in the early rounds. I do think it might be getting in their head a little bit, but that one win is enough to elate Core and get the snowball running. But a lot of the crux of that round that Core had won was based on Zeldris diving in the site with the Blade Storm. Yeah. An ult they don't have in the next round. So now you can't really rely on Zeldris popping in like that again. They're struggling to gather space. And like you said, mentioned, the double sentinels are making that almost impossible for Zeldris to find really any impact on this attack. Oh, here it is. Yeah, now Remember, you're... Remember, no KO flash. Now you're really getting He's all there. by himself. Oh, oh okay, Zeldris. Over there. Forced to back away, pressured out. But that's a strong indicator for mid. Core, that's the first time they've really put that pressure down. And they heard the TP away from the Yoru. They may know there's a reposition or a fake. But if they try to pry their way through mid, it seems like they don't. They're going back over to tree. At the very least, they've spotted where the Odin is. They're not perched up on tree stairs again. This is a great call from T-Dog to say, hey, we can get tree for free. Oh, and Xander, tough timing. Doesn't recognize how early Core is going to try and dip into this. Koala Noob's already made it back around. He's been the fulcrum of, the, uh, of CT for this pre-plant rotation, but will actually maintain his distance as they lose net in tandem to play for that 3v4 instead. Ziff? This is oh, really creative wait. from Ziff. Wow. Yeah. But what if Koala TP is? Nothing's watching you. Oh, no. it doesn't matter. Yeah, no way. Can't spot him. So it's on site here for core, but once again, Zeldris has too fast for M80, four for the jet, leaving Koala Noob all by his lonesome, with an Odin no less, very tough to deal with this, and the anchor on B main as Core will run back around to Nerve, who's been puppy guarding these A exits to make sure no one from M80 tries to collapse early, and spoiler alert, 
They're not. They're still staying back. This is such a great read from Gord, too. Look at the minimap on B site. That That is a war zone. You can't go anywhere on B. So the read to go to A site is good. There's no ults to gather that space outside of T-Dogs. But again, we've seen M80 willing to give up the site. Oh, no. They got psyched out. They're going to go to B. Wow. Oh, no. The wall falls. Nerve. The grind games work. M80, oh, no. And Nerve's ult is not going to show that there's all that senti util. The yeah. frag nade is already down. The net is covered. Nismo's still holding lane. It's a mad dash back over to A site. Yeah, now Core thinks that everyone from M80's made it back over there. The annihilation was enough to scare. 13 seconds to breach through tree. And guess what? M80's here again. BCJ getting dropped by Nerve, though. He's been watching the whole time, waiting for Xander to pop his head out. But he finds the right angle, the wide swing to find at least one. And now it's Trade City. Koala Noob able to play for time. Just not enough. Never mind. They're able to do it. 8-2. Wait. Blade Storm. So much dependent on this ultimate yet again. Immediate paranoia. Still manages to find the shot onto Xander. But Net now playing the guard and M80 yet again have had more than enough time to make it back to the right site. Core have to commit at this stage. The Cypher ult to confirm nobody's flanking this time around. It's all happening on A. But Nerve playing for the distance means that... M80 still has to take this a bit slower. Take down the sentry first, play around this smoke. Nerve has a lot of room to move, but Nismo has a lot of room to spray for free and find both in the crowd. Zip playing from the bottom, a lot of bodies spotted, not a lot of bodies caught. That, we're gonna play everyone together and we're gonna play all in and M80 don't have an immediate visage onto that main looker, but that's because Koala Noob has a fun little cubby spot that's able to shut down the null command. Getting smoked away, so having to play the escape. But uh, a little too much chaos still happening in CT for Core to really make an impact outside of just that main line. t Dog's gonna poke a little bit from the outside, but only control for Core is on site. That might be enough, though, as Snarly's gonna poke his head out, get some chip done until he's down. So it's a 3v2 retake with not too much time on the clock and a good amount of util that M80 actually has to juggle against. Zip, first poke head out. t Dog finally the rotation. Xander on a measly 2 HP. And Core have an easy 2v1 that they could finish uh, basically anytime they wanted to. Anytime that they're lucky enough to. Xander, the turn back around to lane now. Zip going for the swing and he will manage it. And Core will swipe Made away a couple of their players, but what a game of chase we're in right now. Nismo, feet swept out a little bit by Ziff as he's made it all the way through A main, all the way to T, and now with this hodgepodge getting stuck up, Nismo has to lock in and play against so many different angles that he can't get more than one. Core shut down and now are playing a hybrid attack from B main as the spike has already gotten planted with Nerve taking that CT position. Is there enough presence? Is there even, even enough time here? Recon Bolt is going to force Xander to give away his position, but that's just going to force the util and the fight from Koala Noob. A lot of stall going on, but a lot of kills from Core mean that this is still going their way. BCJ having to play a bit more Before, pro. I want to know what they're cooking up here for distance. Yeah, I, I'm really excited to see how they, how they pull off some of these kills that they'll have to go for if they play at this tempo. Ooh, Zeldris spotting Xander. Nice pot shot taken to keep some of this extra presence at bay. And M80, they're going to try and broach that by vying for better mid control so Nerve can maybe have some more mobility. But Zeldris is just going to take a back, back seat, take another pot shot, and go on his merry way. So control ultimately not really given over, but M80 uh, is still really hungry for that correct sight. But Core, it seems that they've weighted themselves properly. Zeldris yet again, prime position to intercept. On sight, that's Nerve. Oh, it's a battle of timing, though. The double smokes are down. Remember, big weapon diff. Core, they only have sheriffs. Paranoia to try to stop. Two on. Make it... Or now make it two. Nerve TPing back. Also gets caught. Not too much damage done for any of these members of Core. M80. Able to simplify. It's a game of follow the leader whenever you're able to find them. And no! Core read that this push is very enthusiastic. And the deadlock ult to at least Aww. clear away rafters will allow Koala Noob to make himself known and actually vie for control far better. Copycat to make sure Nerve doesn't find any extra damage. Now hopping back to main for the post plant to, uh, to take stock, take shelter, make sure that core shots are so impossible. But Nismo holding early to keep this contested up top with that grab net forces more util to be burned. 
before you can actually take this fight. But look at this fun position from Xander inside the smoke next to tree. The exit from here is so awkward and Seldris avoids it. Turning back out, Zip can trade it through, but time is ticking and Core do not have much One more to play with away. here. Net spray through to find the Zip. Plant here. Some early left. damage with the Sheriff wall banging. Owl drone gonna get tossed out. Basically guarantees that Zip is gonna be holed up in Boathouse, but the Hunter's Fury from T-Dog is perfectly timed to make sure that they can't collapse immediately. Ziff is gonna die, but he's gonna try and make sure that the rest of Core have enough time to get back on, but Net, the shutdown after the onslaught of Util thrown his way, will let M80 have about six or seven seconds to spare for this plant as Core, again, shuffling on down. Now the Hunter's Fury from BCJ's end forces Core to insert even earlier than they opted to, but Zeldris can skate by and take down Nismo to make this a 2v2. That Zeldris has to start out by playing lane until Nerve gets back. He is given away position by playing from the CT, but the one way onto BCJ makes this 2-1v2. Xander, though, subtracting Zeldris on an island, can't do a thing. Nerve stuck in the 1v2. Just one, not even true flash, just one dizzy to maybe refresh. One flash just completely shuts you down. Xander can swing out to a crowd of thousands, but if one flash drive is affecting them, it doesn't matter. He'll get one. Distance still trying to be made. There was a big struggle last week with M80 when they tried to use their own attacking utility to get on the site. And he opted out by Okeanos. Zeldris doesn't opt as much as Oki. So it does make these sides a little bit easier from AD side, but Distance has been made back over in A. Good lockdown brought out here. Already presence for BCJ, great audio cue. So a single snake bite. Keep in mind, Viper no longer with two. That's going to be the counter lurk. Net falls. Still waiting for that flank. It leaves three on A site. And Snarly all alone. And I know M80 wants to fight this, but they're gonna do it way earlier than I think anybody expected. The Null Command off rip. The Spike barely has any time to get down, but that's the perfect pocket oh. of time <laughs> where Core is attempting to retreat. Ziff, literally, the fall off is crazy. T Dog able to at least trade out on Wingman's defuse, but M80 playing staunch guards and Nerve being left alone means has to play slow. But that snake bite is able to stall a decent chunk. This to an even better extent where he's just flowing with the team a lot better in his movement. And you gotta you gotta also remember that Xander now has another week of practice on the IGL roll under his belt. That's true. He's gotta be back in stride too. This is an M80 that is trying to get in their groove, and boy, do they work fast. But Core will work fast this time on the exec for A site with Ziff playing guard to the midway so that M80 can only play from the back end. They'll be able to get Spike down and have a decent amount of time and space to play with, but no ultimates and still no rifles. So this Thrash can kind of go wherever it wants unless everyone focuses it. It's gonna be on the bottom floor where T-Dog's gonna rise up from to meet Net and actually kill him, but Zeldris on the way back has to early guard this potential defuse that M80 is no doubt gonna go for, but not first. Koala through the zip line yet again, early aggressing to get the drop on them. And BCJ can at least hold halfway. Koala Noob oh. on a roller coaster, but pays the price for it. Doesn't matter though. BCJ in the cover of the smoke. Hard chill. Waiting underneath. You gotta watch out for that turret. One by one. No Remain. trades at all. Spike 3K for net. B. Shut down mid. Spike lost. Nerve now last one alive. We thought maybe for this round, but there we go. Hunter's Fury clearing some space. No follow through from Core though. Not pushing to that Viper Spit, even though T Dog cleared some space. Well, Snarly gonna be able to at least cut. Try and gain that high ground, but that's shut down. That's the one thing that's out of course control. They have to continue playing low. The smoke rises, as does M80, and so they'll play in the pit. Nismo, the spray from the noise to immediately take down T-Dog. His presence on site is way closer than one would think. Wingman able to find Zip though, and that's another immediate shutdown. Nerve having to play the distance in his own pit for the 1v2. And you know no for a fact bite. M80's going for the kill first. Yeah, there's no way for Nerve to space this out. He's got to get up close and personal and spots this thing, as does BCJ, but nobody Timing. completely Timing. trumped on Nismo. The rush down, and that's immediately the sign for BCJ to trade through. Great positioning from M80 to win that out in the pit and keep this streak going. 8-0 now. 
Zip on the runaway through mid. Net's gonna get caught out in two, but again, Core can't act on it. They can't pounce on this easy one. They have to go for the plant, and they have to do it now. But Koala Noob has not been fully countered. He's still playing from Snowman, the toxic screen, to finally force him away. But with 13 seconds to go, now Xander can take control of the default spot. So Core has to overextend, play wide to try to deal with that, but they can't. Xander still plays from the bridge, grabs one, stays alive, grabs a second. The maximum impact yet. Oh, this is so up close. Koala Noob! Two up, two down, looking for the shorty kill. Gets a little bit of chip on his Zeldris, but that is all. And finally, the outlaw will be retired, I think. But is the damage already done? Is this still enough for M80 to work off of in the 3v3? Nismo early knife to scope out how close Core might be, but Zeldris is right below this. I don't know if this is expected. Nismo would have to contribute so much immediately, and he can't. There's too much of a fight going on in the front. Zip with the shutdown. Zeldris, the off angle, and so it's down to BCJ, who does spot two of these, and knows Zeldris is still on this wide angle, but cannot counteract it. And yet again, the top fragger for Core is the headline in one of the few rounds they've been able to manage. It needs to be a flawless rest of this half now from Core. What do you do here? Do you switch up the pacing? Koala Noob again, an outlaw only, has been shutting down the crux of B main. Mid worked pretty well. Zeldris is positioning there, removing Dismo, even in ult, was so good. It stifled a lot of M80. They thought they had the drop. They knew the location of Core's members, but he remained hidden. 4-1 now. This lurk from Nerve is everything yet again, but no, they're not pushing mid. Even with all the KJ util there, they're not willing to go for it. Even the poison orb. I don't believe it's out there. No, it's actually far back A. This round should end on A side. That's the goal for core. Lockdown's out now. Blocking one funnel for the retake just in case. They're selling everything, but they're backing out. And they don't know about Ned's presence. Oh, no. They're going to make so much noise running. Yeah, Ned immediately hears this. And wow, so well telegraphed. Core. <gasps> they're going back. Oh, they're going to double back. noise going back in net. He's Nets still here. Waiting. He's still he here. Knows. He's like, hold on, guys. I'm cooking. Playing Red Rover. Red Rover well, said net on over. The back smoke. Yeah, that's, that's again, a huge opener just gone. T-Dog, though, being the anchor this time, is able to shut down Xander. So it'll be a 3v4, but it's on site. M80 is here. Thrash is out immediately. Zeldris detained and shut down instantly and no way core can try to counteract that fight t dog playing from the distance with the hunter's fury will net at least one hit now it comes down to the long range ziff able to nab the kill on nismo as the spike continues to tick down bcj guarded by koala noob though and it comes down to t dog who is able now, to and core has tried this before but they didn't have a thrash as often zeldris with the blade storm as well but bcj no flashes. He's keen. And now you don't have a smoke either. Nerve shut down too. Have to plant manually. And Koala Noob is so confident in that. He's just going to walk on a site over the fragment that's set down. It is an onslaught on site. And unquestionably, M80s half despite Starly spray down. Next two rounds, then they'll have like the sixth be best map di differential in the league. With, with a 1-2 record. Better than like half of the teams that are 2-0 right now. Okay. Good start from Koala. Zeldris pushes up. That's what we want to see. Zeldris can play so much more on his own on the defense. Trades on trades on trades. Zip, that's two. What's left now? Xander Nismo. Your two IGLs. Now your true IGL. The leader's the last one left. His whole squad's down. And even then, this is still winnable. Yeah, it's very true. Xander can lock in here. Oh, nerve though. Huge. Good swing. Huge early damage. M80. This is gonna be another quick one. It's gotta be. BCJ looking for the right time to let this fly and just play it out. Or M80 gonna try and infect Sight? Looks like Ned is gonna stick to it and play for tube control, yeah. He's gonna swing around. This is very risky for M80 to spread themselves this thin on the pistol, but they've gotten this far, they'll try to make something of it. Big group swelling up snowman but a bigger one from core so m80 will play lane instead knife to scope out sight but ziff can shut that down early too so m80 doesn't really know what kind of presence is coming from which angle they're not sure which direction to look and so what? they're waiting for spike to get tapped so much util dump yeah this is a lot that they can Molly, immediately Molly, Molly. throw on the spike and it's a game of timing for these players that m80 is just able to launch everything but the kitchen sink at the wall so t-dog taking the front seat good damage done but can't finalize nismo though fight of his life to try and shut down the defuse and
good guarding by Nerve to make sure that Core gets one on A site right now. But again, A is the riskier site to default because you have to save so much of your util for the post plant, which means somebody's got to take the front seat. It's going to be Xander. He's going to take the front line. Rest of M80 going to follow suit with the kills. And it's BCJ that actually takes the forefront of them. Grabbing two online. But Ziff finally finding a shot through the doorway. Able to immediately counter aggress and with the help of the Nano Swarm, flushing out a second. So it's a 2v3 actually that M80 have to deal with here and Core will instantly make that a 2v2 with Nerva on the off angle. Spike still ticking though, but M80 have been forced to play on site so Core can slow this down just a little bit. Nerve waiting for the right opportunity to drop down and grab that off angle onto Ziff. No, it's Koala that gets stopped. And instead now it's Nismo that has to watch for the double. But Nerve can play so confidently while Ziff taps, and Nismo is just forced to play the 1v, and Nerve is locked in for that as well. Very, very well-structured third round from Core. I'm surprised about how M80's playing this out. They're playing so much slower than we've seen in the previous series with Net. Oh, boy. They have this Owl Drone. Spots nothing and the rotates mid. Viper Wall Utility comes up. It has to be B-Site. Yeah, they'll lean that way <laughs> as Nerve can spray through and grab Xander. That's such a crucial kill, too. Ned can at least wide swing from yellow and clear house, allowing little guy to get the spike down. But it is a tough spot for M80 to be in with some tough guns in tow. Koala Noob already controlling that higher ground to attempt to save face. But Kor gets to tap this pretty consistently for free, especially with the thrash opened up here. Zeldris, huge swing from yellow on the up to get rid of Net. And Core, yet again, the aggression down lane with the advantages they have already accrued. No way, Zeldris. Nicely huge, done! Huge. That the was so gorgeous! Oh my god. M80's now shut down. The fight is as good as done. Dizzy to scope out. No one letting it fly. Oh, that oh gun is 100% spotted. Zeldris, take the shot! <laughs> Zeldris, take the shot! Zeldris, take the shot! Yes! Yes! No way. Oh, Snarly, the drop down too. This is so disgusting from Core. All is forgiven. Map differential who? Round differential who? That round was sick. Competitive score line that we had seen on the sun. So just is going to try to go for it again. Oh, and he does. <laughs> M80 plays preventative that time too. Other duelists. Oh, the lineup. Oh, Ziff. Okay. All right. There's one. Well done. This is literally, I think, no, actually, not Sachi. I was going to say, this is the first kitchen round we've seen from a team, but this is the first time we're really putting emphasis on it, and Xander's gotten three. Oh, one man. One by one. Then, was that the giveaway? Does he see that? Left. Oh, now he yeah. definitely does. Bye bye. 2v2. Welcome to Whoa. BCJ's going to plan from Snowman. This is fun. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I like, I, this. I like this, though. They felt more confident back here anyway compared to Core. Core They're hates skipping this far. They're baiting out Snarly's ult. They want to get rid of it now, even if they lose this round. They won't have to worry about it in the future. Nerve is going to play that pull position for the spike. No, he'll just extend and find BCJ. It's down to Xander. Has got to play ultra slow. And the Thrash and Wingman doing a great job of scoping out the entire area. Now and they know that too. With the help of that Thrash, they'll be able to plant for free and set up smokes for the long game. Koala shuts down Nerve though as well. And that means that you can't play that slow that Korra are used to. Snarly, though, dealing with the other Viper as well. Koala Noob, huge TP! Can you find something here? Oh no, the shot onto Ziff is off! And now Korra, they're able to just kind of run in willy-nilly. Bladestorm onto BCJ, Bladestorm onto Koala Noob. Zeldris is here to play! Out of knives, though, and finally shut down. But T-Dog is able to defuse all but the M80 are doing it at such a faster speed that I don't know if Ziff is going to get to it in time. No, he's got to play from Snowman instead. M80, now the ones with the aggression, and Koala Noob shows it. Nerve pinched instantly. Zeldris is still all the way back here in lane, and Chorus, or, or M80 has managed to skirt him too. An incredible clear of the B main that uh, essentially guarantees this. Yeah, I mean, this uh, this round was so nicely wrapped up, and Koala Noob can kind of just let Jesus take the wheel with this operator. Net, also the off angle from Kitchen. My, oh my. Immediate domination over the map. The second they decree it, that was... A cavalcade of disrespect for a for a 13th round that M80 was 